Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sutnuski. Thank you so much for popping back in my channel. A little bit of a favor to ask of you guys, if you don't mind. I have a brand new lens on the camera. This is the Sigma 16mm 1.4 art lens. I think I'm really liking it, but I really want to know your opinion. Do you like this better than my old lens, which is the Rokinon 16mm cinema lens? It's around here somewhere. Here it goes. So normally when I have this on the camera, especially when I'm filming outside in natural daylight, this really throws like a greenish hue on stuff. So I, I wanted to get something a little like a step up from this and I felt like this Sigma really could be a good answer for me for a vlogging lens. Right now it's in 4K, which with the Canon M50 is seriously cropped. So do you guys think it's sharp? I'm looking in the... Th I mean, it's might be a little too sharp. You might be able to see all my wrinkles and everything. Maybe I should put this back on. I want to talk about the list of requested videos that you've all left for me, which is awesome. I love it. But it seems like as soon as I tick one off, there's like five more on the pile. So if you've left a request and I've not yet gotten to it, it's just that I've not yet gotten to it. Please be patient with me. I will get to it. Now I would like to address some of your grievances with LumaFusion. Listen, it's a $30 app. When I bought it, it was actually $20, but it's a $30 interface. There is so much packed in there for a $30 one-time fee. I would say probably the biggest grievance would be a lack of transitions. They do have a lot of transitions in there, but if you're looking for something that's a little more specialized, of course we can create them. So I've done several videos on how to do switch transitions using in-camera transitions, having that translate over into your video or faking an in-camera transition. However, with that lack of transitions though, we can always build our own. And I'm sure I've already thrown a couple of the transitions that I've made myself onto this video so that you can have an example of what they're going to look like. I watch a lot of YouTube and sometimes I see things that I like. They're very interesting. I want to do it. So I just go into LumaFusion and I duplicate it. That's how I came up with that dramatic title, Fade In, Fade Out. I saw it on somebody else's video. I'm like, hmm, I can do that. So I went into LumaFusion and did it for myself. I love doing this stuff. I love to watch something and then duplicate that exact same look in LumaFusion and it's totally possible. You just have to have a little patience to do it. You figure it out. You build this wonderful transition. You export it as a finished movie. You bring it back in and there you have it for any time you want to use it in any one of your future videos. So what I'm going to do right now is show you how I built the square, well, either the square or the line, maybe the line, let's do the line, the line transition in LumaFusion right now, show you how to save it and bring it in for future projects. Let's go ahead and build the line transition. So the very first thing that we want to do is hit the plus sign at the bottom and choose main title. And this transition really shouldn't be any longer than three seconds. So we're going to leave it right about at the three second mark. Let's double tap that. And immediately we're going to highlight the text and throw it right in the garbage. Let's hit the plus sign and we are going to choose shape and we are going to leave it this square. But what we want to do is flip this square around to 90 degrees. Make sure though that you're on rotation because sometimes I'm like spinning it and spinning it and I don't know what's going on and it's because I'm rotating the shadow angle. So make sure when you're doing this, you're actually choosing the rotation of the box and not the shadow. And that looks good. So let's go all the way over to the left. We will choose frame and fit. So right off the bat, what we want to do is shrink this down to practically nothing. So we're going to pull the whole thing right down as small as we can get it. That looks good. We're going to drop our very first keyframe to lock that down at a very small size. And we are going to advance this now, I would say nine frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And at the ninth frame, what we're going to do is increase that X size a little bit, not too much. And we're also going to pull up the Y. That looks good right about there. And what we're going to do now is advance another nine frames. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now what we're going to do is blow out the X axis to cover the whole entire screen. There we go. So let's just back out and see how this looks so far. Perfect. Now what we want to do is duplicate this. So just hit the plus sign down here and we are going to grab this and move it on top here. Move it down a little further and we just want to bring this in, the second line, just as this covers the screen for a few frames. So let me get it perfect, right? Boom there. And we just want to advance probably like three or four frames. One, two, three, four. And you see how I advance frames? You just do it this way instead of trying to tick it down this way like we normally do this way and try to count frames. If you just get it to where you want and you just hit the screen in the play box here, it will automatically tick you forward one frame. So what we want to do now is grab this and line it up with exactly where we left off. So let's double tap this. And what we're going to do, instead of making this white, we're just going to make the face color of this green. So let's back out of this and see what we have now. And there you go. So let's go ahead and make a cut and we can throw this away. So I'm sure you guys see where this is going. Now let's export this as a finished movie. So let's hit the share button. We'll choose movie and we will send this the highest resolution that we can. And I'm going to send this to my cloud. And I'm going to send this at 4K. And that looks good. Hit the share button again. And let's name this transition line one. Hit the share button again. And that is going to send that to my cloud and I will save it there. So now I'm going to pull that in from the cloud. So here it is, transition line one, and I am going to send this back into LumaFusion. Let me open another project. And I am going to drop this transition that we just created right here between the two boxing people. So let me go ahead and find the transition where everything else is imported. Transition line. Okay, so I'm going to grab this and pull it down here. So let's double tap on the transition. Make sure we're all the way to the very beginning. And now what we want to do, actually we want to, yes, what we're going to do here is go to blending and we are going to choose screen. And there's the white line that rises. It then covers the whole screen and then becomes a green line. So what we want to do here, right before that green line comes in, guys, what we want to do is cut it. Now we're going to double tap on that finished portion. And we are going to go to color and effects. And let's go over to where it actually starts to become green. And we are going to choose chroma key, green screen and just dial in to where everything looks nice and sharp on the screen. So let's back out of that and watch the transition. And there you go, that's basically how simple it is. What did it take me, like two minutes to build that? I built it out, sent it back into LumaFusion. Now I have it for any future project that I want. All I have to do is drop it down, cut it, apply a blending mode, and a chroma key, and now I'm done. And you don't have to do the line. You could do a circle, you can do a square, whatever shape your heart desires, just apply it and you can do it. If you've made it along this far in the video with me, I will share with you that I am going to share that transition from my Google Drive with you guys. But what I'm gonna do, because I don't want people just getting so used to it that now they don't even watch the videos anymore, they're just downloading the link, I'm gonna hide the link. It's gonna be all the way at the very bottom 
after all of my different Amazon links, which by the way, thank you guys very much for ordering some stuff off my Amazon links. It does help. Thank you very much. I'm going to hide it all the way at the very bottom so that you can download that, get that into your LumaFusion and use it for your projects. All you have to do is cut it, blending mode and chroma key, and there you have it. Regarding the request list too, there's a lot of people that have requested very, very simple and basic things. So I think my next video is just going to be, you know, how to do a bunch of these simple things that people requested, like how to do subtitles, which is basically just dropping in a title. So I will like take a bunch of those and just make one whole video out of it and just get that done and out of the way. Well, I thank you guys so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And until next time, wear your sunblock.